Good morning, I am Rohit and today I will show you how to enter an advance voucher from a customer who has given me advance and subsequently in later months I am going to bill him up. So I will straight away go to the voucher. F6 uh, receipt voucher is already open. I press advanced receipt. Remember to press advanced receipt otherwise it will not work. Advanced receipt, it shows use for advanced receipt. I will select a bank. I have already made, it a, made a customer customer with advance. Now this customer with advance is a Sunday data belonging to my own state. I have put on the regular GSTN number. Right. Now here it is asking me I have got this advance for what item? Uh, maybe I have not declared, uh, the customer has not told me which item he is going to purchase and he will decide later on. In that case, I will enter not applicable here. I will enter a sales, he is a local customer, so normal sales account. I will take 10,000 rupees as advance, right? <clears throat> it is showing me my, under reverse charge, my tax liability of 1800 has been created. Right, so it's a new ref, it's advance. <clears throat> Best thing is to create a CGST liability here only. Simple. I took an advance of 10,000 rupees and also entered uh, mentioned CGST and SGST. It computed by itself the liability here. <clears throat> Correct. So that is one way. The other way is you simply enter the customer with advance uh, 10,000 rupees. Do not create check this and enter a subsequently general voucher. So this is a simpler thing. So that I will do this entry in the month of July. So 31st 7. <coughs> now in if the sale is also done in the month of July there was no problem so I'll show you now here I will have a sale in August so there are two different return periods I'll press F8 select the same customer give an item 10 pieces <clears throat> and apply the subsequently tax is applicable right so I took an advance from this customer in July and I build him up in August so there are two different tax periods now in the August return what I'll find display statutory reports GST GSTR 1 I think I've done some mistake. I'll again go back. I have to choose against reference. The reference of that earlier receipt. Now I go to display. Statutory reports. GST and GST 1. Now in this return, previous period advanced receipt 1, it's showing me B2B, I'll check, the same customer will advance, there's a liability which I have to pay for 1980, but set of tax paid against advances, I already paid at eight, set of, uh, this GST earlier in the last month, 1800 rupees, so in this month I will be paying only 180 rupees, which is the difference. So this is how we manage advances from our customers in Teddy. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Discover Teddy is my YouTube channel. So please subscribe to it. Thank you.